Hi, welcome to Crafty Cams. I'm Mike. I'm Max. This is one of our first videos we're putting out there. Our channel is going to be revolving around photography, doing do-it-yourself builds, uh, product reviews, and touching on some general knowledge for photography. With that being said, uh, today we'll be discussing how to use a focus calibrator and uh, this guy you'll see right here, we actually put together on a previous do-it-yourself build and uh, you'll be able to see that video right here and down below uh, if you want to check it out. Otherwise, uh, we'll get right to it. Okay, so now we're actually going to put to test this uh, little jammy here. Um, things to keep in mind, you want to take whatever millimeter lens you are, so this is a 70 millimeter I'm focusing with. And you want to do uh, 10 times 70, or 70 millimeters that is, or the millimeter length. So 10 times 70 is 70 centimeters, 70 centimeters is just shy of 3 feet. Right? Right. So we've got this distance here, from there to there. you got to make sure your stand is fully leveled for your shot, because if this is not leveled, then your plane of focus is going to be wonky. And you also want to make sure this guy is all focused, otherwise your test is going to be wonky. So we got everything set up here correctly. It took us about five minutes. But after you get it done, you can bang them all out real fast. And your, your focus is gonna be aiming for the inside point of that target right there. So after that, everything that's set and done, we're just gonna simply take a shot, boom, like that. So let's take a look at this. Um, we've got the picture right here. And so we're gonna zoom in to see how our focus is. Focus is pretty on point. This is a D800, so there's a lot of pixels to work with. Looking at this, it's pretty good. So we're going to pan all the way to the right. All right, so then we look over here and we look at the ones. The ones are where the range cap gets in there. So if we really look at it very strictly, we can see that it starts to blur out over here on the top of that one and the bottom of the one. So overall, it look, it's looking fairly on point. There's no real manageable changes to do it. But if you did need to do it, you would go into menus for this particular model. You would go into like the little wrenchy and you have an AF fine tune. You would enter the fine tune, you would click it on, and you know, click on, okay, save value, default. Again, the default, you can either plus it or minus it, which would actually work again with the ruler over here. So the plus would bring it that way, minus would bring it that way. Back forward, or back focus, front forward focus. And before you know it, it would be all calibrated for that specific lens. Well, wasn't that a great video, right? So, uh, actually, to be more serious, uh, just a few thoughts here. Um, the lens we filmed on was a 24 to 70 millimeter 2.8 Nikon. Um, was pretty much dead center and sharp. Really had no issues. A very similar lens, a 28 to 75 millimeter Tamron 2.8 um, front focus. Just a tad where it came in right around the uh, the one you know, uh, marker as a center, so we had to pull that back a little bit. Um, and most interestingly enough, which is a really good lesson here, uh, you know, Mike's lens here is an 80, what is it? It's a 85 millimeter prime lens, 1.8 F stop. And what did you find there? I found that it was like really back focusing, like I had to crank it all the way down in the menus to get it back to what it should be, which is really kind of an interesting concept. If I had pulled it out of the box, put it on my lens and did a lens adjustment then, I would have found out that it was not up to snuff and probably was sent back to Nikon for a uh, more crisper lens. Yeah. Which so, is a I mean, helpful thing. It goes to show, you know, whether it's a third party lens because you're trying to save some money or you shell out, you know, the big bucks for the first party lens. Yeah. You know, you still want to test it. No, no lens is a perfect print, always guaranteed. You know, uh, each, each one can have its flaws. So, you know, just make sure you test it. it Cost a few bucks to put this together, and there's other ways to test it anyway. So, however you want, you know, just make sure you have a good copy. Um, other than that, I mean, uh, leave us any questions or requests you have down below, and uh, you know, we'll try to get to that. Any thoughts? Uh, you know, just keep watching. We'll keep putting out new stuff for you. Yeah. All right. Well, see you soon. Yeah.